<laughs> Hello, everybody. Listeners, viewers, viewers and listeners. Yeah. Okay. Um, welcome to M's Updates number three. Uh, this, I'm Emily Marsh, and you've tuned in to me. Thank you. I have a subscription shout out today. If you subscribe to my channel, I do a shout out to you uh, at some point in my vlogging. And today it's Dundry One. So thank you so, so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Today's topic today is about music. Something that everyone has an opinion on, and there are so many different kinds of music out there that I think it's kind of hard for most people to choose a favorite genre. Like, some people will be like, I love gospel, I love pop, but in general, we like a different kind of thing. Like, it's not always like, you'll never like one thing. It just, you know, depends on the right person doing the right song. Anyway, but the reason I'm bringing it up today, uh, of all days, is because I got a job recently singing back up for a singer, and her name is, I'm going to put on this paper, because if you want to check her out, which you should, should. <laughs> It's a shameless plug, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, her name is Gina Hirozumi. Uh, she just released her uh, a pop single on uh, YouTube, and now she's on Vivo. It's called Never Say Never. It's got like over 50,000 hits, and she's awesome and super nice and definitely worth checking out. Um, not the Justin Bieber Never Say Never. That's not, the, that's not her song, okay? <laughs> but uh, she sings pop, for instance. And so um, I'm very eclectic. I like different kinds of music. And she sings pop, and I enjoy that a lot. Um, it, I think it really depends on, like, your emotions at the time, like, what you're feeling. Like, everyone loves the emo songs when they break up with somebody. But, like, when they're in their car, most people want, like, the upbeat, cool jams that they can, like, rock out to because they're stuck in a car for an hour driving somewhere, and they want to be awake and having fun. So that's nice. I do have a qualm. <coughs> Check your dictionaries for that word. Um, with two kinds of music, heavy metal and rap. I'm not saying I never like those kinds of music. I do occasionally like for rap. I like, you know, Will Smith and I like Eminem. But I think they bring in a singing quality-esque to their rap. That And they also sometimes do a lot of songs with other people that are actual song songs. I like music, guys. And ugh, I'm going to make enemies here. I don't think rap is music. Heavy metal, a lot of times, if you can't sing and you're just screaming, that's not music. I could have my parents scream at me and I, I'm not going to pay money to to listen to that over and over, so, <laughs> ah. but yeah, so like I said, I like Eminem and Will Smith and occasionally others, but there has to be actual music, like when they duo with like a singer, I'll most likely listen to that, and some of those are really good, but in general, singing, like, and it's rhythmic and it's syncopated, so I get it's not super easy, you know, because there's a flow that as a white girl <laughs> is hard to appreciate sometimes, like, because I can't do it as well. But I could do a thing right now, and it is rap. Like, technically that, you know, is. And I just like, if I want to listen to music, pretty sounds and melodies and choruses. And also a lot of rap music, lyrically, is really kind of harsh. And I'm just like, I don't care that you shot up your sister in a trailer park in 2006, and now you're in jail. Like, I don't, I don't know if that... I can't relate to that, I guess is what I'm saying. So, anyway. Um, I also think that sometimes... We're really close-minded about types of voices when it comes to singing, and I think that's harsh. Like Florence and the Machine and Adele and Gautier are just kind of now coming up, and they're very different. I don't know if we've really had those kinds of voices before, and they've kind of opened some doors that I think have been shut for a long time. Like, most people don't give as much consideration. They like the cookie-cutter certain sounds. And those are great, but, like, we do like diversity, and I think we're ready to hear other stuff that's not as normal but still really good and different like haunting qualities or different is awesome uh so that's pretty much um my music for today also one quick thing radios overplay songs too much which we all know and that needs to stop i don't know if that's like there's not enough new songs for them to play to integrate to change things up or if that's like do you have to play this it's in a contract like you have to play this song eighty thousand times I want to hear a song like four or five times and then I'll buy it or something like I'm not gonna I don't want to hear it a million times because then it ruins the song and it becomes disposable like like a meal you just ate and then you throw away the trash and you're done with it you know it's just sad and music shouldn't be like that because it helps us express you know emotions and how we feel and spiritually and emotionally at a lot of times in our lives that you know we take phrases that everyone feels and they get overused and then they don't have the same meaning but music can like re-elevate them to awesomeness so yeah that's it for today um, please, of course, put your comments below. We can discuss the wonderful world of music. Uh, please subscribe above. If you subscribe, I'll do a shout-out to you, which is awesome. And if you guys want to follow me on my Twitter, it's emarsh000. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week with a different topic. Bye!